Alright. Well, I'm back. And here's my new um my new model. Um not that I have I don't it's not like I needed one, it's just I, I got one. Um and I usually don't do this. I usually don't um unpackage it in front of the camera. I usually package it, look at it, um and so forth and so on. But this one right here is kinda special. Um I had these old 50s trucks um, back in the day I had a 51 and I had a 53 and uh, I missed those trucks um, and uh, there's certain reasons why uh, at this point in my life I can't have one and I probably never will have another one again and so what I chose to do is build models of them so I can still participate in and what I plan on doing is taking the model itself and building it as if from ground up you are building uh, one of the um, the 50s trucks so let me go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got this nice package job I didn't expect it to be in plastic but maybe they put a plastic bag around it to uh, or some plastic around it uh, because it is an open box it's supposed to be brand new but it's an open box um, never throw the boxes away until you've gone through them thoroughly in case some of the parts fall off and that's yeah that's what they did they just took a and uh, put plastic around it because it is an open box and none, so that's none of the parts fall out of it. That was, that's smart. That's what I do when I sell something. this from eBay. It's been a little more than I wanted to on it. But considering the fact that I wanted it. So here we go. It is, I had these exact pickup trucks um, when I was uh, back a few years back. Uh, my family knows what I'm talking about because they were all pretty much present during it loved these trucks. Um, I sold them uh, large in part because I lost my arm. Um, it was it was rough for me to work on. I wish I didn't. Um, I think I still could have um, once I got used to not having an arm I probably could have uh, continued on doing it. Um, they, I will have to say that they beat you up when they were when I was driving them um, but I still think I could handle it. But uh, here's the box. This is um, an AMT um, ERTL uh, model, skill level two. We'll see about that. Um, 125 uh, scale, and uh, it's kit number six six four three seven. You see the the art on the box. The 
this is what uh, I'll be going by, but I doubt I'm going to paint it green. Although it's a very nice looking color, but I doubt I'll probably paint it green. So you got um, the whole 360 here of the. Uh, and I think on the bottom, well, no, on the bottom there's nothing. Okay, so let me go ahead and open this up. This is the intro to this model kit we have, uh, as far as my videos are concerned. You have the uh, rule book, if I can get it into screen. Uh, I will closely follow these, but what I plan on doing, and I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but I, what I plan on doing is breaking out my old manuals that I use to put my um, take apart mostly <laughs> and put together my um, 51 and 53 uh, trucks. So um, looks like a nice little book right there um, to go by, and everything is in sealed packages. So uh, that looks good. You got the clear plastics right here. You know, so this right here is probably going to be a five window cab maybe it look yeah it's a five window cab that was my 53 my 53 was a five window cab my 51 was um, three windows and uh, oh wow it's in more detail than I actually anticipated and it's got the uh, the visor which is uh, something I wanted I didn't know it was going to come with the model so this is a good surprise so far, I'm liking it. I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm just not liking it. I'm loving it. You got the tires. There's two of them. Got more down here. Got a little flashing on these, but I can cut that off. But these are these are real rubber tires. Interesting. Didn't anticipate that. Thought they were going to be plastic. And the roof back lights. Right here. <laughs> this is a very impressive model. Um, I like it. Yeah. That is nice. I actually expected uh, these are the um, side decals. Oh, we're not decals, but um, on the truck right here. Um, They are right here. I, I actually thought they would actually be decals, but they're not. They're actually um, silver plastic pieces. It's going to be difficult to paint those because you know the letter is going to be black. Very small detail. Let's see what we can get done. And I got a couple license plates, hubcaps. Nice, very nice model. I am impressed. Now, we have decals down in here for the license plates. Ah, that's what that is. Okay. So, it's going to be... Try to drop them on the floor, right? So, right here, that top one, number one, what that is, is it says Thrift Masters, and that goes on the engine, uh, the engine block. Um, or technically the, um, I forget what the name of it, but the lid, uh, the valve cover, the valve cover, that's what it is. Uh, the valve cover on the, um, uh, so this goes on the valve cover, I think, on the uh, on the engine. So that is awesome. Well, I mean, I'm talking about really detailed. Uh, the engine, you have to put the complete engine together. Um, very impressive. Okay, well, um, I'm not I'm not going to open the bags just yet. That would be silly at this point. I do have something coming. Uh, what's coming in the uh, coming in the mail is a um, is some decals that actually go on the dashboard uh, uh, for the gauges. 
Now, now the gauges, I don't know if you can see that through the, uh, right there is the dashboard. Um, but the gauges are actually printed in there where you can actually paint them. But I have decals to make sure that uh, that detail comes in really good. Um, this right here has the radio delete um, in the um, molded into the uh, dashboard uh, whereas um, there are some decals out there that actually has the radio um, I'm not interested in putting making it look like it had a radio I was never interested in the radio when I had the truck so I'm not going to do that so I think this is going to conclude the intro to this um, I'm going to start building this almost immediately um, I'm still working on the Christopher Joe. I got an Arizona bill going on. I have a USS United States bill going on and a USS Constitution bill going on. Um, and I'm just going to add one more to the mix, which is going to be my Chevy pickup truck. My, my 1950 Chevrolet 3100 pickup truck. I'm more than likely going to uh, address her more like a... Um, a 51, but I mean, what what's the difference between a 51, um, a 50, and a 51? Uh, the style of truck went from 1948 to um, what 19? Well, with the, with this particular grill uh, through 53. Um, and maybe even into 54 with that grill, but uh, 54 the grill changed, but the, basically it was the same truck, and the dashboard changed also in, 50, uh, in 54. So, anyway, um, this I'm going to build just like a regular, a real life pickup truck, but it's going to be a model. So, that's con this concludes the uh, intro. Thank you for watching.